The US saw five one in a thousand year rain events in just 30 days. Five. But what does one in a thousand really mean? The term doesn't exactly refer to the frequency of the event per se, it's more so the likelihood of it happening in a given year at a given time. So a 1 in 1,000 year rain really just means that there's a 0.1% chance that the rain reaches or exceeds a threshold in a given year. And those aren't great odds, so it's kind of confusing when you hear about them happening so frequently. For instance, in three years between 2015 and 2017, Houston, Texas experienced three 1 in 500 year storms. A 2020 study actually found that 100 year rain events are already happening five times as frequently, up to every five years on average. These severe events are becoming so common that people are starting to push officials to either recalculate or change the term. FEMA's director recently admitted that its flood maps aren't able to account for changing climate and the severe weather that is linked to it, with a study finding that there are 60% more homes at risk of substantial flooding than FEMA currently accounts for. In order to find storm odds, also sometimes referred to as recurrence intervals, researchers use as much historical data as possible to project future flooding and floodplains. But since they use historical data, this hasn't been able to take into account the more recent changing climate climate, which has a huge role in the severity of storms. Every degree of warming means the air can hold 4% more water, leading to more intense storms and rainfall. The world is already 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it was in pre-industrial times. Scientists are tying this to the record rainfalls that are happening all over the country. Updated maps would help people make more informed decisions about where they want to build or buy and how they can prepare for the future. 